and welcome back to It's Rock Science. Today I'm asking you, the viewers, is glacier ice a rock? To answer this question, it's important that you know what a rock is. Do you? Well, let's play a little game. I have three objects displayed before you. Talc, azurite, and shale. Can you guess which one of these objects is a rock? I'll give you three seconds, and no cheating. If you chose shell, ding ding ding, you are a winner. If you chose azurite or talc, sorry. Azurite and talc are minerals. Shell is a rock. Understanding this difference allows us to better understand what a rock is and if glacier ice is a rock. So what is a rock? Well, rocks are aggregates or combinations of one or more minerals. For example, the rock granite is composed of biotite, quartz, and many other minerals. Minerals are composed of inorganic compounds or elements arranged in orderly internal structures. To put it even more simply, they're just composed of elements. When elements like oxygen, sodium, chlorine, and hydrogen are arranged in orderly structures, they form minerals. And one or more minerals combined together forms rocks. Now, there are various ways to categorize and classify rocks, but geologists mainly classify rocks by how they are formed. And there are three major categories, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks form directly from the cooling of magma or lava. Examples include granite or basalt. Metamorphic rocks get their names from the word meta, meaning change, and morph, meaning form. Very hot and high pressure conditions in the Earth's crust cause sedimentary and igneous rocks to be transformed into metamorphic rocks. Some metamorphic rocks are even transformed into other metamorphic rocks. It's an ongoing process. Examples include marble, schist, and gneiss. And these rocks also make really good geology jokes. Lastly, sedimentary rocks are formed from pre-existing rocks or once living organisms. When rocks like granite undergo physical or chemical weathering, they are broken down into discrete or small sedimentary grains. When these grains accumulate on the Earth's surface, they undergo a process called lithification, where these grains compact and harden into sedimentary rocks. Limestone, coal, and sandstone are all examples of sedimentary rocks. Now, this is not a very detailed explanation of each of these rock types, but I do hope to do more videos on each category in the future. So hit that subscribe button to look out for more. Okay, now that we know what rocks are and how they are classified, we can finally answer the question I posed at the beginning of this video. Is glacier ice a rock? And the answer is yes. Glacier ice is a monomineralic rock, meaning it is composed of just one mineral. And what is that mineral? Ice. Ice is a naturally occurring compound with a defined chemical formula, H2O, and crystal structure, thus making it a legitimate mineral. So how does the mineral ice form into a rock? It's a metamorphic process. Okay, let's pretend we are somewhere in the Antarctic and this layer of cotton balls is a layer of fresh snow. Let's call this original layer L1 so that we don't get confused. Over time, more and more snow falls onto layer L1. The weight of the overlying snow puts a lot of pressure on L1. As a result, thousands of individual snowflake crystals in this layer recrystallize into much larger and denser individual ice crystals. The same process occurs to form other metamorphic rocks. When rocks undergo intense pressure in the subsurface, chemical reactions occur to cause the minerals in the rock to change to new minerals that are stable at the new higher pressure condition. For glacier ice to form, this process must happen over a very, very large geographic range in a long period of time. So yes, glacier ice is a rock. I hope you learned a lot about what rocks fundamentally are. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button below and look out for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.